It's mid-October and beautiful fall foliage colors is beginning to pop up everywhere I go. As the leaves begin to change color and make their final journey to the ground, the Hamptons become a much prettier place and much more relaxing. The craziness of the summer months are behind us and this is a wonderful time to take some time off work and enjoy the beauty of this place and what's around us. The Hamptons is much more than its glamorous mansions and sophisticated high-end boutiques. It has an abundance of natural beauty that is very unique to this place. So natural beauty is what we are after today. We're on our way to take a hike in one of the most beautiful places to hike in Sag Harbor and it's called Trout Pond, located right off Noyak Road. It's one of my favorite places to explore. We go there a lot, almost every season, and we love to hike this place.
I love Trout Pond and of course this is not the only thing that you saw. Um, if you walk around you can find many little places to explore and there's a lot of beautiful details to appreciate in nature. And the beauty of this place is that it's always changing. It changes with the seasons and I happen to walk here on a snowy day, on spring it's beautiful, summer and it's, it's always great to walk here. I love this place. Bye, see you bud. This hike was amazing. I had a lot of fun and I feel like a new man after this hike. And now I'm headed to Southampton. I am going to do some grocery shopping. Uh, Ollie wants to do a little barbecue and then he wants to go to an apple farm to pick apples. So that's the plan for today. And farms are a great thing to do if you are in the Hamptons during this time in the fall. There's a lot of farms and they all have activity for the kids and apple picking pumpkin picking and you can just go buy vegetables if you want anyway there's there's lots of things to do and, and lots of fun so that's the plan this time of the year the trees in the back parking space behind Cinderella in Southampton are just exploding with colors and it's so nice to walk under it I go to Cinderella every day because they are located like two minutes away from my house and that's my regular stop and I always love to walk under these trees and appreciate these beautiful colors while they last Every time I have a chance to shop at local farms, I, I do shop with them and I like to support our local farms. And But Cinderella is really close to my house, like I said before, and we pick up Oliver from school and it's on that same parking lot. In, so it's really convenient to shop here. But they have great vegetables, they have everything. It's, it's great. A little bit more expensive than other areas, but totally worth it. They have an organic aisle as well and, and, and good meat and good fish. Every time I have an opportunity to go out and breathe some fresh air and take my dog for a walk and take a picture of a beautiful place and just breathe this amazing clean air that we have in this area, I, I do that because it also helps me cope with stress as well. It's, it's relaxing and it, it's, it's good. I feel like nowadays stress, anxiety became a huge thing. It's a part of our lives and I talk to a lot of people and everybody's stressed and I'm stressed. So we must do whatever we can to avoid it and take our minds off things. I picked up a steak at Cinderella as well because Oliver wanted to do barbecue on the 
tiny Japanese grill. I think it's hibachi grill. It's a lot of fun to do barbecue on this thing and you eat a lot less because you cook tiny little pieces and it takes a while to cook. And it's a great thing because uh, you don't eat as much as when you cook a big, huge steak and you slice it. With this type of grill, you have to cook as you go and one steak is enough for three of us. And Luna gets a bite here and there as well. And you don't feel super stuffed when you're, when you're done. And I love it. I just flipped that one. Oh. Yeah. I just flipped that one. <laughs> Ali? This one's very pretty. No. This one I just flipped. This one too. We're wrapping up this barbecue and we're gonna go and head out to that apple farm that is near our house. It's on Seven Ponds Road. It, I think it's called Seven Ponds Orchard Farm. And it's really close. They have apples, they have playground, tractor rides, and that's where we're gonna go next. Seven Ponds Orchard Farm. It's uh, on Seven Ponds Road in Southampton and it's really close to Hampton Jitney. And this farm has everything from vegetables, pumpkin, apples, a lot of apples, and they're open all summer long. And what I love about this farm is that, first of all, they're close to my house, they're in town, and second, they're not as busy as the other farms. And they have everything that the other farms have including playground for the kids they have tractor rides and a bunch of stuff you can do and have fun on this farm This one that I'm eating, the green apple, amazing. And just like that, the day was coming to an end. But this was a day well lived. We had a lot of fun today and we enjoyed our day. Not a moment was wasted and that's what's important in life. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I'll see you the next time.